What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you're here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Okay, let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. And it's done! Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. There, all set. Anything else? Not now, Rocket. Maybe we can talk later. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you. Uh, Gamora! Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, was. Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. 
You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. Hi. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Flying the wrong way. 
night. He's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. And it's not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Let's face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and... <laughs> oh, that was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Work. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, she work live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship! <laughs>
We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some of this. It's not alone. Get ready. Like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? <laughs> what does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! No fails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot you by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm trying to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Drax, you ever seen one of those? I suggest smashing this electronic device until No, it... no, no! Keep your grubby paws off of it. I'll take care of it. Clark, that don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? It's probably not going to jump us. Mm-hmm. Ooh, mysterious. 
this? Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. Further proof that we are not well. We turn back every time we have wanted to. What are you firing at, Peter Will? Do you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find help after. I was not going to say that. Okay. Fine. Go. I was deep in the jungle of an impossibly hostile planet. At the end of a bridge, I found this small, hairy, weasel-shaped abomination. Scott Hole! <laughs> we'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. You're up, Gamora. Once I had to defend an ambassador from the Nightmare Realm. Oh, uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking dogs! How will we cross? Face Look around, we'll find another way. Over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you! Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? Trying to. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled it with Baby Swan. It was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she's real cozy with the bugs. Ridiculous. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster Planet. Right. Thing, Chitauri. Some of these statues look familiar if you catch my drift. You do know that aimless shooting isn't gonna scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rockets. But maybe there's something else here. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? Eyes up, people. Incoming! Fucking monster face!
inferior creatures. I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantrymen. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me, Groot of the merchandise. Only just go. No, you just someone go! Someone go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. Yup, definitely saw the giant head Peter. fly. Peter. Oh. <laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? A monster!
beast! Finish the battle! Aw, the Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're... Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the road lies. Mask and relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Ah, right. I got some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Nova Corps rocket? Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. So? Uh, right there should be <laughs> fine. Since you asked. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Clay. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. See anything useful up there? That's a pretty big reactor unit up there, and it's only hanging on by a thread. I wonder if we can pop it loose. Here should be good. Let's do this! I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Alright! Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, you still out there? Uh, indeed. Anything you can do, like climb down that craggy wall? 
And what then? Would you allow me to launch you over the cliff? You frowned upon launching the rodent. He still frowns on that. Come on. Ask the assassin. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. When will the wing collapse so that we may exit this vexatious pit? This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. But what next, Peter Quill? Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero. We can get Nova off our back. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped Groot. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that for sure! Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Well, You gotta see this ship! Behold Lady Hellbender's wrath! Even the Chitauri feared her! Oh! Slimy! Uh... Guys! <laughs> You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? Some smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, hit fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Well, that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. <laughs> Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull Scott like this. This gun do Please the let guns me, alone! Let me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! Or sorcery. Here we go again. Guns, well. 
must be shattered! Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. Ah, impossible. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I, I cannot hold it forever. I did it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Mora, think you can squeeze into that tiny space? I have white shoulders. If only we have somebody soft and tiny on the team. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Mark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! There! Now we have our way up! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Whoa! That is not a happy monster! Oh, man. Another mer- Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to learn. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. Done enough of that already. I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. Yeah, just you know, carrying water and ice. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter.
Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? There's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Lady Hellbender is an astute buyer. I wish you want what we are selling. I'm with Gamora on this one. Looking the part is half the battle. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There is little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Oh. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... Their monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed.
Scout says we're running out of options, and he's flarking right. These clowns don't know what to quit. Why would they quit when they see us ready to give up? Give up? That's what you want to do when these clowns turn it all upside down? No, of course not. Fucking right. Because I say no. No guts, no glory. If we want to succeed, we gotta fight and bleed for our needs. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter. Bring Clinton. it on! Feel this! Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with him. Yeah, really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. <laughs> Deep breeze. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take. One for every precious air follicle on this flawless planet. You have counted. It's bizarre. Hey, at least I have something to count. Say. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Nice. Every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. In cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark and was looking like we mean business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. 
It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. I won't. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That 
That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. At last! Huh? We have arrived! 